Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Play James Bond Bloodstone. This is Tomonaki and this is my first try at doing one of these uh, Let's Plays and actually talking the entire time. Um, this is one of the few games that I have that I think I'm even slightly okay at playing. Uh, and despite the fact that I said I'll be talking the entire time, I won't, because I, I'm one of those people who doesn't really like LPs that have a bunch of people talking during cutscenes and such, so I'll try to keep it as low as possible so that you guys can enjoy the game and not have me just prattling on and on. Now, I figure some people like to see the different graphic settings and everything and I, my computer's okay it's, it's not the best but overall it's it's not bad so I've got at least some of the stuff going for it uh, some of it doesn't really seem like it's useful like ambient occlusion I mean sure it makes things look nice but it also slows down pretty much any machine <laughs> but uh hmm, what else was there well if you guys have followed my channel at all, Tomonaki, um, then you know most of the time that I play these games with a controller instead of mouse and keyboard. For me, it just works out better. Uh, I'm not very good with a mouse and keyboard for some strange reason. I'll do it fine on first person shooters, but other games I usually prefer to use a controller of some sort. I guess it's just been my thing for these past many years. Uh, well, now that I'm done introducing myself, I suppose we should get on with the game. Alright, sorry if there's a jump cut here. I kind of had to re-record because some things kind of messed up. Um, technically speaking, I should do this on field operative since I've already played the game. But uh, since this is just a regular run through, I'll just do it on recruit. It's been a while since I've played. W7, this is urgent. Priority one. We fear the attack may be imminent. How long until you're on the ground? We should be down in 10 minutes. We haven't got 10 minutes. The satellite is picking up suspicious activity near Greco's boat. You've got to get a move on now. I'm on my way. Change of plans. Head for the harbor. According to our sources, General, Greco has flown in a group of international terrorists for a suicide mission. The plan is for the attack to coincide with the moment they take the group photograph. I can't much care what your sources tell you, Em. We've checked Greco out. He is an international businessman here on vacation. His business, sir, is international arms trading. He'd like to see all the heads of state, all the members of the G20, wiped out in one fell swoop. Is that what your sources are telling you? Or is it your female intuition? I'll thank you to keep my intuition out of this, General. I want you to cancel the photo op now. Impossible. You have to have some faith, some trust in my ability to protect them. You can keep your faith. I put my trust in Bond. Good luck, W7. Keep 
Watch on the harbor. Report any suspicious activity. Bond, this is Tanner at Tube Ranch. Hostile radio chatter shows your landing has gone undetected. Blueprints show Greco's quarters are located on the lower deck. Find him and stop the attack on the G20. And here we go. Like I said, it's been a while since I've played the game, and uh, so I might not be the best of the controls just to start off. And I'm doing this uh, kind of in honor of the new James Bond movie coming out pretty soon here. Kind of a kind of an honorary thing, yeah. Hopefully this will all work out well and I won't have have too many problems down the line. Come on, there's nothing up there. We just need to wait for Gregor's word, then get the job done. Where are our escorts? They should have been here by now. There's some kind of problem. I think they're meeting up on the way. And this is my favorite part of the game, the takedown system. Which, some people have said it's kind of cheap, but I just like it because it's really fun. I don't know, there's just something enjoyable about taking guys down... ...quickly, and... ...not having to use any bullets. Where is my helicopter? Where are my boats? Maybe you think we should just call the security services and hand ourselves in? Huh? Imbecile! Do you have any idea of what is at stake if this mission fails? Give me one single reason why I should not have you killed. Who the hell are you? Attack, Greco. It's over. One man against forty. I don't think so. Guts! Deal with him. You would think with those many bullets, he would die. And down he goes. Nope. Oh, all you have to do is wait here for that whole thing to just end. Otherwise, you're gonna get killed. Give me that! No! The bigger one! The thing that I'm not a big fan about with this game is the fact that the controls are only ever marked for the keyboard, not for the controller. So sometimes you kind of have to guess at what exactly you're supposed to push for these kinds of sequences and stuff. But once you get it down, it's usually okay. One thing I like about this game is that you do have these pretty epic chase sequences here. Lots of explosions, a lot of guys dying. Fun stuff. There you go. Really good aim. This is an indication. 
Headshot. I think this game actually has an auto aim ability. Well, it, it basically auto aims for you sometimes. Which works out sometimes, but not all the time. Other times it's like, well, I would really rather not. And sometimes I've noticed that I find myself uh, reloading at really bad times. So I'll shoot somebody, reload, and then all of a sudden five other people will come out and shoot at me. Unless of course I do that. Don't say. Bomb Greco. Last chance. Where is it? You're too late. M, how much time do we have? Not much. They're assembling the heads of state for the picture. Now here is really one of the more... Well, not difficult parts, but one of the parts that I failed the most at. The car chase sequences. If you couldn't tell. Uh, yep. Let's try this again. M, how much time do we have? Not much. They're assembling the heads of state for the picture. Take him out. There 
There we go. Fireworks? Did you know there were going to be fireworks? Honestly? Yes. How did you know? Quite honestly. Intuition. Nice to see you, 007. I was worried that you wouldn't make it in time. Well, that makes two of us. Well done. Thank you. May I get you something to drink? Yes, I'll have a bourbon. Neat. And what can I provide for the gentleman? I'll have... You'll have a vodka martini. <laughs> 